Hey, beautiful spirits. How do you get out of a funk when you're just feeling like you're just not okay and things are not getting any better no matter what you do and you just feel like you're at the end of your rope? It's just, ugh. I'm LD Juarez. I'm your sparkle coach and it is my mission to help people to find their sparkle again. Get your sparkle back. You know, depression's a bully. Let's kick all those bullies in the ass, anxiety, whatever they are. They don't belong in our life anymore. You deserve better. So let's talk about this. So how do you get out of a funk, especially lately with everything that's been going on? I see so many people posting on social media, talking in crowds, just talking about how with all the uncertainty going on and all the weirdness and all the upheaval and everything, it's just so uncomfortable. And so many people are feeling the vibe. They're feeling just like, oh, so depressed and just want to just say, forget it. Why bother? You know, another lockdown, whatever. And it's just really taking its toll on everybody. So how do you get out of this funk? Because it's very dangerous. It can become, and stay with me here, it can become luxurious to sit in that funk because it's familiar, because it's warm, because it's even though it's uncomfortable emotionally, it's comfortable physically because it makes your world get smaller and smaller and smaller to where eventually you're like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I feel good right here. I feel safe right here and all is going to be well this way. But it just continues to deteriorate everything. And then your quality of life goes way down. And then the funk gets worse. Your depression gets worse. Anxiety gets worse. You're not sleeping. Your health starts deteriorating. It's really an awful cycle. Trust me. I know from personal experience. So how do you get out of the funk? How do you do it? Especially when you're not motivated. Especially when you're in that comfy spot. How do you get out of it? Well, it's just like... When you're a kid and you have to get up for school and you really don't want to, right? Don't hit that snooze. Don't give yourself two seconds to think about it. As soon as you open your eyes in the morning, get up, get out of bed, do something, get out of that room. That gets you moving. Do that. Then do something that makes you feel good. Even if you're not going anywhere today, shoot, get that makeup on, girlfriend. Make yourself look all pretty. It'll help you feel better. And if you're not a makeup person, just go wash your face, moisturize, and feel all smooth and glowing. That'll help you. Eat something great. I know I talk about that all the time. But eat something good for you. Um, clean around your house. Take on a project that is sl- uh, sh- like a short project that you can get done now or take on some baby steps toward a bigger project and do some meditating. See what's really bothering you. Sit with your intuition and think, okay, what is really, what's behind all this? Okay. And if it's the lockdown thing, say, okay, is there anything I can do to make this better for myself and my family? Write those things down and do them. And if there's something that you can't do, If it's something out there that is outside of your control anyway, like, I don't know, any, anything that's outside of your control, like the virus thing, right? That's out of your control. All you can do is what you can do. You can take care of yourself. You can take care of your family. You can take precautions, do certain things. And after that, it's out of your control. So instead of stressing, if you've done everything you can, let it go and just have faith that everything's going to be okay and move forward. Take that worry off your plate. Sometimes people are so in a funk and maybe they're prone to anger issues or something like that, that they get angry over the littlest things. So say somebody is, they're driving, right? You're getting road rage because somebody turned on their blinker two seconds before they turned. Okay, let it go. You know, you noticed it. You're paying attention. Maybe they're in a funk. And they forgot for a second. Oh, shoot. Right? Let's, let's have some compassion and save your energy. Don't utilize your energy for crappy, petty stuff because all it does is lessen your happiness bubble. It, it adds to your funk if you're worrying about stuff out there that really doesn't matter. You know, somebody's, 
I don't know, they're not doing something the way you think they should, or they said something that they probably could have said better or whatever. Like if you give, give each other leniency a little bit right now, everyone is feeling the vibe. Everyone is like, right. So if you just kind of give some compassion, some leniency and let the little things go, it's hard if you're in a funk, but let the little things go. That'll really help. Just remember, you can't control some of those things. Do everything that is in your control. First of all, take care of yourself. Prioritize you. Then you take care of your family, your house, those kind of things. Then you can go outside of that. And if you're stuck inside again and not sure what's going on with the world, stop watching, you know, regular TV because that's just going to stress you out. But do everything in your power to make sure that you are as safe and comfortable as possible. And then from then, let it go. That way you don't have to be in this funk because it's hard enough as it is. Things are going to get better. They always do. They're going to get better. I have faith in that. And I hope that you have faith in that. You really deserve it. And yeah, there's just little things that can really uplift your day. So do them and don't feel bad if you need time to yourself. That's not selfish. That's actually beneficial for everyone around you. And don't be afraid to ask for help. In fact, it's imperative you ask for help. It's imperative that you reach out to somebody. If you need something done in your house and you have family members with you, see if they can pitch in and help you. That'll help them out of their funk as well. Make a movie night. See if you can just sit around and watch something uplifting and laugh and, and help yourself out that way. Just do simple things like that. It's really helpful. You so deserve it. Make sure you have a schedule. Set yourself a schedule every day. I know that helps me. If you set a, a time in the morning to be up and you have a morning routine you want to do, things you want to get done during the day, and then set yourself an evening routine as well. And make sure you set yourself some time without electronics, about four hours before you go to bed, turn them off and have some family time, have some you time, have some relaxation, rejuvenating time, take a bath, have a nice shower, read a book. Talk to somebody you love that makes you feel good. Do something that ends your day on a positive note. Take note of your sparkles and let everyone know what your sparkles of the day are. And end the day on a positive note so you can start fresh the next day. Have a cup of tea. Have a cup of, um, there's this stuff called Calm. That you, it's a powder you put into hot water or cold water and drink that before you go to bed. It's very, it is really calming and helpful. It'll help you sleep. So any of these things you can do, just make sure once you realize you're in that comfy funk, get out of it. Think of it as a dirty diaper you do not want to be sitting in and get out of it. Do something to snap yourself out. It'll help. And if you do it consistently, eventually the bullies of depression and all that will have to sit the F down. All right. Please hit like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you so much. You're amazing. You deserve to sparkle. Mwah.